today we are going to make a clot simulation and have a look at how we can best control it for our animations. So let's jump into it. Uh, let's make a cube and scale it on the Z axis like this. We want to make a pillow. So how do we best make a pillow? We'll choose the top and bottom plane and we right click subdivide. Uh, let's do 10 times. What we'll do next is select and then select sharp edges. We want to change the selection mode actually before we do this so we only get these corners around. What we'll do is we'll do S and set to scale it on the set axis and we'll pull it as close as we can and then we press M merge by distance and then we will do the distance bump this up until you get this message down here that we have uh, removed vertices 44 is removed so we can count around but it's we trust the program to have done this correctly uh, shade smooth and there we have our pillow that we will simulate in a little bit uh, what we'll do first is we'll just move it a little bit up here above the, the Y and, and we'll add a plane that is going to collide with the pillow and also hold it in place so it do doesn't just fall off the, the, the map. What we'll do here is we'll go to the physics and just enable collision. Yeah, collision thickness. I don't think we need that one right now. Uh, what we'll do with the pillow is that we enable collision. No, not collision, sorry, cloth. Uh, quality we can put to 10. Vertex mass, uh, maybe change to 0.1. Uh, you can tweak as you want, but it's okay if you follow these settings. Uh, pressure five and Collision quality, we can set to 5, uh, self collision, I don't think we need that really. And let's just pr press play and see what happens. Oh, it bounces like crazy. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's a pillow. So that's a pillow. But we can add some more... Um, Geometry with the subdivision surface. I think maybe that <laughs> I think the pressure is too much. Maybe try one That makes it bounce yeah. If we put it to one we we get a, a better look and you also can see That we have this flat bottom that it, the collision is actually doing what it's supposed to do and this is important uh, because I, I will come back to this uh, how you can best control it with your animation and this is it if you want to put this pillow on something else now you have to enable collision and you have to simulate again but if you like this uh, this simulation that we have right now with a simple plane and this pillow we want to use that and move the pillow wherever we want and how do we do that we go back here and we do apply, but apply as shape key. But before we apply anything, we press shift D, uh, escape key M and new collection and call it unapplied. So that we can always go back and, and uh, disable this one. But that we uh, can always go back and keep uh, it non-destructive if you wish apply as shape key and what happens it flattens again but we go here to this one and we have something called cloth and a basis basis is this shape and cloth is our simulation and this has a value of zero so when we bump this up we will get get it back so what we can do now is we can delete the plane i would uh, actually move to the collection but we can delete it in this tutorial and we will add a cube for example and what we'll do is we'll move it down minus one meter 
And this cube has nothing uh, enabled, no collision, nothing. And what we'll do is, with this pillow is that we'll move it, just move it a little bit down here so that it touches. And for your animation, you can do whatever. You can move it sideways uh, while it's uh, while it's uh, it's inflating. You can do whatever you want here, and you can just keyframe this one. So if you're at frame zero, you want it here. Just taking an example, you do this, and maybe you want to move it. Uh, let's do location, and you want to go to keyframe in one second, 24 frames. You want to move it, let's say here, press I, press location rotation, and you also want to bump this up to one and I to add a keyframe. And here you will have a inflating pillow moving on the wire plane. So there are uh, many, many possibilities uh, on doing this. And this is just one of them that I think is really useful and I've also used it in my animation. I will show you uh, also from the start of the video, I will add it and also here. So you can see how that uh, is very, uh, you have a consistent result and you don't have to simulate when you are making your perfect loop animation or something like that. You will get uh, the same result every time. And that's how you can do that with this apply as shape key in the modifier panel. So I hope this was useful and, and that you learned something from this video. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.